Welcome back, everyone, to the Executor mod for Hots of Iron Fall. I'm your host, Mr. Star Wars Lover, but right now, as you can see on screen, we are at war with Iran, and I just decided to annex the rest of that turkey because that was really weird and awkward. But, of course, I'm doing the Imperial Security Bureau, as we're still trying to do pretty much everything. Grab a ship. Uh, the majority of our basic systems are online and functioning, as well as the more advanced systems. There are many major systems to restore our, the ship engines, which have been saved for last. If we were to attempt to restart them without all of our systems online, who knows what a larger crater we would be in. But these guys are doing, uh, you know, desperate defense, or last stand. And, uh, well, let's just say sometimes they just get blitzed. And I like it when they get blitzed. It's very nice. So, uh, but yeah, we're doing okay. This Mexico is going kind of crazy, but, you know, whatever. Should we occupy Western Poland, huh? Sure, we'll take some stuff for now. Let's go and do that. Grab a ship. That'd be great. And the Imperial Headquarters are named to Executo. Uh, so we got a few comments to go through, and we'll talk about the intelligence agency, which I asked you guys about last time. Ooh. Germany, you're just going to war with so many people. Wow. I guess that did help them out with them going to peace here with these guys, but still. Ah, they're joining the commentary. That's not good. If they can be up Czechoslovakia, that'd be really good for them, but... Oh, hello. Ew. Anatomic. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Wow, uh, probably not. <coughs> it's not very problems, but that's not our problem to deal with, so. Um, start focusing on a little bit of ships. As we're doing very, very well against them. 60,000, that's pretty... It's pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, we need more than 100 factories. Expanded hangers. I've read this last time. If we need this again, please go ahead. Tie series salvaging the wreckage. Oh. One of the following must be true. Uh, the hangers repaired and cleared out once more. We can salvage any workable ties with the help within. Make the repairs of the damaged craft we have available. Yeah, we're doing a lot better than I thought we would, truth be told. Executor structure. Not bad. Oh, look at that. And a second as well. Go to Tehran. See what you can do. Just blitzing their booties. So we will need to go to war with the Soviet Union eventually. Um, honestly, probably everybody in the end. Uh, this real industry, we got more than enough of uh, war support. What we really could use is more stability, but we'll do this one anyways. Uh, attacking defense against communism, that'd be nice. The ground ship. Expand the hangars! We need al -Kassam still. That just sucks. Which is right here? So we could... Ooh, Iran is gone. Thank you, Iran. All that we can. Give none to anybody else. Thank you. They did not have a navy. That sucks. Um, well, look at you. And we are faction leader, so start helping put down resistance, which would be nice. Oh, hello. Oh, you're with Greece. Ooh. Why'd you do that? Bro. Because Greece is in the stress front. I kind of don't want to fight him yet. Oh, we can take over Africa a whole chunk of it and whatnot. But that's a lot of enemies, and Germany's doing okay still. They're actually pushing against the Dutch, which is kind of surprising. Uh, we're not really in any position to beat up those guys, because now we have quite a few borders with them. And the, the Soviets won't have that many divisions. And these guys do have quite a few themselves. Um, and the Stormtroopers will be fine. These guys, maybe not so much, but... I mean, obviously, we need way more divisions before we can really do anything like that. We could, maybe, but still. Is that something we want to do now? Or is it a success? Our plan of conquest has been a success, revitalizing faith in the Empire amongst the men of the Executive. They have faith once again that all is not lost, and while that may never, I mean, we may never see home again, we can create a home, the natives, however. Are becoming nervous about a renewed ambition. Victory for the Empire. Remove territorial ambitions. General announcement. Great Depression. More imperialism. Road to victory. More division organization. And construction speed. So which I will do this one. A classic approach. Smaller tanks perform well in nearly all environments, which suits us well on the planet with its wide variety of terrains. They are classic and cheaper designs compared to that of walkers. Technological superiority. Compared to our enemies, we are on an entirely different level of warfare. Our technological advantage is so extreme. Even our most basic equipment is light years ahead of anything else we may encounter by the natives of the world. Making this gap even larger will make our conquest of this planet and others an even simply a task. Oh, integrated Iran? Oh. Builds infrastructure across conquered territories and adds factors to the crash site. 
Do I get get? I can try. I don't believe our support. Oh god, yeah, look at that. I ain't do much to splow down here in Iran. Auxiliary systems, not bad. Happy 1940, everybody. No, we do that one next. Well, I guess we have to wait anyway, so it may, might as well. 100 days is quite a few days, not gonna lie. Tanks, medium tanks, yeah. Early ship holes, now nah, we're good. Uh, I'm gonna say let them take it. I don't want them to get invaded, so. Oh! Executed, eh? Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh! Okay, then. They're still doing really well against us. Not against Belgium. But alright. Okay. Why not? If she pulls, nice, let's go to 1940 stuff. And see what we can do about that. Anything else right here? So, you guys should be able to do whatever. You get some hills and crash like Gerson. 30% more, more attacking mountains. Oh my god. Sure, why not? We'll promote him. Oh, hello. Well, get rid of your PTSD. Snow Trooper Mar Marway? Nice. If I call them in, if I get called in, it's not going to end very well for any of them. Going trade anyways. Um, who do we have here? Oh, what do we have over here? Anybody we really want? Civilian? You know what? We're building up a lot of this stuff anyways. As much as I want uh, that guy for intelligence stuff, I think we'll be okay. Classical approach. What else we got around here? Uh, oh, Star Dreadnought Executor. We fully repair the ship. There's nothing holding us back any longer. We may take off from our crash center and orbit other planets. What political power, military construction speed? Oh, that'd be very nice. <coughs> no. Comprehensive history on tanks. Reuse current designs. Using current designs currently in use by a wider Imperial Army will be the easiest route, as our troopers are already accustomed to the piloting vehicle, vehicles such as these. Standardization is key to an effective army. Overwhelming offensive. Uh, by having an incredibly large number of our tanks at our disposal, we will be able to overwhelm our enemies with vast amounts of armor charges that they cannot help to repel. Yes. Finally. Oh, they declared war on them. Okay, so they actually go to war with them. Bruh. Well. I, I didn't know that they'd actually go to war, so... Like, so we probably have to prepare for that a little bit more than what we already have, because we have, like, no divisions all around here, which does kind of suck. How fast can we go to war with these guys? 42 days. Well, we might need to go back and, uh... Reevaluate our plans. And now, everyone, we're at war with Afghanistan. The Soviets have not declared war yet, because they actually... chose to go to war with the Finnish... instead. Huh. Well, good luck to them, as we're hopefully taking out a couple Afghans here and there. You know, 2,000 losses, not bad. Um, after them, though, I'm not really sure what we're looking for next. India? I mean, I guess Pakistan, maybe? I'm not really sure. We just keep expanding, you know, further and further uh, east, but I, I guess we might as well try that. Um, now, of course, this is going to be a pain in the butt, because Afghanistan can be a giant pain in the butt. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. We're moving fast enough, we can destroy enough divisions. Uh, Major General Maximilian Vils is doing a great job. But I did ask you guys yesterday what the name should be for Intelligence Agency, and you guys came up with, with many upvotes, uh, the Finland Congress. Oh, with Poland and Finland, huh? Uh, the, oh, Rook, oh, nope, not quite Rook, not quite Rook. Spy Master, yes, please. Imperial Security Bureau. So thank you to those who left the message and upvoted that. Oh, that looks, that sounds very good. Like that, we'll grab some of that instead. Five research slot is not enough, but it'll have to do for now. Um, as we're still pumping hard here. Infantry leader, of course, and we're doing the Dread Star Dreadnought. Executor. I love the political power. Yeah, we'll go back into this one. Fighter models, yes, please. Vladimir Zemov. There you go. See what we can do. Machines is decryption, heavy ship, old 1940s. Slowly focusing on some capital ships, at least. Because <coughs> it's going to take so long to make. Now oh, we're actually losing there, eh? Yeah, it's going to take a while to get these guys out, because supply is so bad. We did build some supply up here, or at least we are building some supply. Let's get to do that. But, of course, Afghanistan goes give us a run for our money. Basic rules, nice. 
uh, or playing in the skies, our starry fighters are unique in their designs compared to the inhabitants of this world, but get a kind of compression on those that see them. If we produce them in large quantities, already iconic kind of starfires will strike fear in the hearts of our enemies. They will fear the howl of our ion engines. Nice. How much more manpower do they have? Cast effort, 3,000, almost gone. I'm not sure they're out. Oh, they're not, not quite out of guns yet, but now they're out of manpower. Oh! And there goes Italy, killing itself. Good, good, good. Remember we run? No, I think we're good. Ultimate Fighter. Focusing our efforts on a craft capable of outperforming any of its counterparts while doing the job of all of them sounds like a ludicrous opportunity, which we one should seize on. There's been a craft in the works of the Imperial Air Corps for a long time, which may complete, along with an incredible boon or wings. War. Uh, doctrine Refinement. Planning our assaults on the greater detail will allow our tank crews to take a greater advantage of their armor and speed by detailing missions behind enemy lines to cut off in strong pockets of men, allowing our regular forces to move in and wipe them out. Yeah, that's why not. I'm gonna double him here because he can. Oh, Alfonso the first film thrown in France. Well, boy. Oh, boy. <coughs> Reuse current designs. Medium tanks? Yeah, we'd have to go with that one. Overwhelming enough offense. By having an incredibly large number of tanks at our disposal, we'll be able to overwhelm our enemies with vast uh, armor charges. But that cannot help to repel. Which be good. Nice. More planning bonus, and there you go. Do your best. Very nice. <coughs> uh, government. So after school is very good. Belgium is gone. Oh, Belgium is gone, huh? She's doing relatively decently, huh? Well, Greece is not doing so well. Yeah, they're doing quite well over here. Better blasters, yes. Very good, very good. Still suffering over here, but we're getting there. It's a very good learning opportunity for our soldiers. Oh, hello. Nice. Those current designs. It's fine with us, and Afghanistan has fallen. It took quite a few ta quite a few, uh, quite a few days, but that's okay. I know it took a while, anyways. Apo. Overwhelming offensives. I'm also going to start doing that. There you go. Plenty of political power, too. Blast tech. Yeah, oh wow. That's actually really good. So now, Finland is gone. Poland has truly died. <coughs> Excuse me. The fall of Paris has just happened. Which I actually wouldn't mind going to war with the stress front now if it's just going to be these guys. We can take out Africa quite, quite a bit. But it looks like the Soviets are knocking. We need to get heavier models. Using heavier walkers alongside our troopers and full allow for our army to slowly but surely rule over our enemies, laying waste any obstacles in the path. Their superior firepower will annihilate our foes, of course. Would be Afghanistan, yes. That'd be great. You might want to do that. So we got you guys good. You guys should be decent, yeah. You guys over here should be decent-ish as well. Oh, China's gone. Okay. Um, that should be okay unless they naval invade us, which they could. So we'll see about that. We're still putting up more civvies, even though we could probably use a few more millies. Armor trains, huh? Sport equipment, yeah, that's fine. Get some more. What if I want more to help them out? Keep looking. I actually see it this time. Come on. Have your models. Well, what else can we do? Oh. Global domination. Look at this. Our ideals are noble. That's what everyone else will hear while we plot to bring the planet under imperial control. The major nations are too busy worrying about a war on the European continent to mind us. We can persuade world, world governments that we come in peace. That our actions so far were merely self defense against hostile nations. This works before, so it should work again. Why not? Hello. Alternative solution. Oh. Alternative forms of the imperial leadership and government will now become available. 
Lord Vader's vision. A throne assumed leadership. Oh. But Lucas said, oh, yeah, that's true. Forgot about this one. Nice. Well then. No, we'll probably go to that way too eventually. I don't, I don't continue doing our tree here, but what about the Soviet Union? Vader's War, Conquest of the Soviets. Blood battalions of Imperial police and patrols under strict guidelines from targeting across various territories of the land to ensure compliance and order. Add 35 compliance to any Soviet state held. Suppressing the Soviets. Add 20 compliance. Foreign volunteers. Add 35 compliance. Terror and fear. Oh. <coughs> Subjugation. Oh, we get cores? Holy crap. Planetary government. Add unify Earth. Not core manpower. Just by the world goal sense was way down. We conquered enough of the planet to throw away our facade. We revealed that our goal was to bring order and unity to an otherwise chaotic planet. All are welcome to the Empire. The Imperial Command will become known as the Second Galactic Empire. We annex. We just straight up annex Oman. Okay. That's cool. Still. There goes Switzerland. Goodbye, Switzerland. 40, we need a service. <coughs> Should be alright. They attack us a little bit, that's fine too. Well then, get more stability, that's nice. You get. Oh, weekly change is going up. Even more, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well then. Planes? Oh. Play at the skies, quad yards production, but that doesn't give us anything. We can still get them anyways, but that doesn't really do much for us, does it? Nope. Ooh, nice. They're forcing attack. Well, well. Or force defense. Last stand. Okay. Go with you. I don't know if it turns into a global domination campaign, but we'll see. Phase, oh, phase two. We've conquered enough of the Middle Eastern countries and territories to integrate them fully into the imperial control. Most of the various people living within these lands have been under rule since we crash landed those years ago. We shall offer them a place in the empire. Wow. I like that one a lot. Rebels are attacking. Well, the Civil War continued, huh? Okay. Well, I guess I have that one. Alternative solutions. Alternative solutions presented themselves to the Empire. The future of Imperial presence on Earth will be decided surely by Imperial leadership. Nice now, these guys are cut off. The Galactic Empire. The oh, Alliance is not doing very much, though. The Axe is doing very well now. <coughs> I might just say them. That's for the end. I kind of want to take out the Soviet Union ourselves. Uh, yeah, that'd be nice. Ten days? Nice. Lahore? Well, alright then. Bon France. Nice. Oh wait, what did that give us? Wow, that's not bad. Gunnery. Nice. Thanks, Pakistan. Thanks for playing. Hey, planes. Up ship holes, maybe.
Everyone's killing themselves, and that's nice. We need to make factories when you can just take them from other people, right? Of Tarkin. Grand Admiral Thrawn was a brilliant tactical genius within the Empire, serving as leader of the Imperial 7th Fleet before the subsequent crash. Thrawn was president up to the executor for the testing flight and has since then been helping military actions throughout the planet. Imperial leadership, especially Thrawn, has not been keen with Tarkin's actions following the crash, so I would advise an immediate termination. Oh boy. Empire Sands, huh? Go ahead. I don't want to think about that. Oh. Got a lot of corpus. What? Bruh. Well, I guess here we go. <coughs> For now, it's fine. Well, if they want to do force defense, I guess we can do force attack too. There's Gibraltar. Sure, for now, that's fine. Sure, why not? Load beta, what's going on? Nutrition assault, sure. Why not? Fifteen thousand versus almost a hundred thousand. Very good. Got a lot of cores. Dispose of Tark and speak with Vader. Uh, Lord Vader and Thrawn share many similar opinions regarding the Empire. <clears throat> Both share a degree of private respect for one another. Vader believes Thrawn's chain of, chain of reasoning, talent, and ability are the keenest among the Imperial officers. Both believe that the Death Star was a giant waste of time, resources, and money. Vader's animosity towards Tark is noted by many. Perhaps Vader listened to Thrawn. <coughs> and uh, speak with Yularen. Yularen is Thrawn's closest ally, having assisted Thrawn in his early career against rebel agents. Yularen and Thrawn have helped one another throughout much of their time within the Empire, and their ability to resolve problems is unprecedented. Yularen is an excellent observer of many of the high ranking Imperial officers and soldiers. Thrawn knows Yularen does not like taking Tarkin's leadership. Spe speak with Veris. Veers. Jeremy Veers is one of the key officers who commands our Imperial military. He'll need to be convinced of the upcoming leadership change by Thrawn. Veers is highly respected by both his men and his peers, always placing himself within harm's way on the forefronts or front lines of his lead by example. He's extremely loyal to Vader, and having earned Vader's backing, Veers will surely follow, of course. We need some aluminum, too. Speak with Gergeron. He's afraid of Vader, not wanting to have his name added to Vader's list of kills, as there isn't a single Imperial officer who has not heard about Lord's, the Lord's predilection for strangling those who fail to carry out orders. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Uh, Gergeron lacks ambition, but being a moth, he holds great responsibility for the men. He can. Uh, but he's a convinced to follow through on Vader. Speak with Tag. Major General Tag has been openly opposing many of uh, uh, Tarkin's policies, believing the Grand Moth to, to a fool, but believing the DS battle station to be a giant waste of resources and military presence. Following the crash, Tog could have showed disdain for Tarkin's leadership of the group. The will be able to convince the Major General to our operation and speak with Piet. First Officer Piet commands much of the Executor's flagship and his orders directly affect the entirety of the crew. One of the most ambitious officers known by both Thrawn and uh, Ilara, and they believe Piet to be a wild card as he has throughout his career shifted blame to fellow officers. Yolaren believes a swift boot and Piet's will be enough to have him fall in line with Thrawn's operations. Also, if I'm pronouncing things wrong, please let me know, because I, I know I'm not pronouncing everything correctly. Oh, shnackies. Ship designer? Wow, that's way better. <coughs> nice. 
nice. Operation Alderaan. Operation Alderaan surrounds us as a plan to terminate talking from Imperial leadership. Having uh, suppressed many government and citizens amongst the Earth populace, to throw on while the partisans assassinate Tarkin in a brutish, brutal manner beyond our own lines. Tarkin will be killed, allowing for an immediate emergency leadership transfer to Lord Vader following Grand Moss demise. cores. So nice. Like I said, I'm not sure if we're going to have a full-on, uh, like, uh, no days of this take. Campaign, or like, world conquest, but we'll see. These guys did go to war with each other, too, which is good to remember, but still to bet. You have no ships, and it takes forever to make. Armor. Walker. Walker's in every battalion, huh? Heavy engines. That was a bad idea. No. Oh well. Can I get them thicker? Yep. Yes, we can. Maybe that should just make them better. You know, we'll add that one anyways. Why not? Admiral Thrawn announced his leadership. With the demise of Tarkin, Lord Vader is coordinated a meeting with all high-ranking Imperial officers. Thrawn's plan was a success, and those who were initially wary of falling in the line by Vader's doing or your arms. Vader will now transfer Imperial leadership to Grad and Admiral Thrawn, which brings some religion to not just the soldiers of the Empire, but to high-ranking officers as well. Wow. More attack. Thrawn's doctrine, Encore Manpower, Daily Compliance Gain, Imperial Connections. Oh boy. I love Admiral Thrawn. He's the best daddy anyone could ask for. Yeah, they're assassinated. Uh, turned into a very real weird world. I will say that for sure. Production line? Sure, why not? Learning a lot, I hope. Leadership. Oh, look at this guy. That's very busy. That's a bug, yes. Nice. Gambella, huh? 
Oh boy. Nope. Nice. Well, maybe not that one yet. Well, you will need some of that. It's fine. And 40 ship's holes. No matter how good or bad some of this stuff is, we probably need it. Three. Battery threes. Get some secondary batteries, it's fine. Slow, but they'll be usable. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at this guy. Kind of handsome, not gonna lie. A unified imperial government. With Lord Vader taking it back to the imperial government and Tarkin's demise, many questions with the imperial government on this planet will be had. Thrawn's doctrine is radically different from Tarkin's invaders and is much more aligned with the god's intentions. Thrawn is a logical and reasonable leader and will unify the imperial body into a strong and healthy government. As he should. Attack is immediately good. You're finding the imperial model. Wow, minus 50%. Pure reorganization, that's fine. Uh, and the imperial military itself has concerned Thrawn for years. The ability to directly construct an effective military body has aggravated Thrawn greatly. I'll begin a great military reorganization effort to correct much of the imperial military's wrongdoings and ineffectiveness. As, like I said, he should. Oh. Are they attack us at all? Yes, no, maybe so. We go in, yes. Well, of course they would do that. Let me get there quickly because they're dealing with all this other stuff too, and I hate what they do with all that. Wow. Offensive? Where is he? More recovery? Great, why not? I usually don't use that one. Nope. Rubber. Some of that stuff. <coughs> Force it. Let's go. Let them attack us a little bit, see where we end up. Counter, no? We're not in war with them, so that's good. Japanese, don't worry, we'll piss them off yet. We're dealing with stuff down there, dealing with stuff over there. Oh, they're actually doing really well, so we might need to open up a new front then. Just in case. No. no. That's good. They might just attack on a little bit again, fifty thousand manpower. Check it, wait and see.
You go in? Yeah, good. <coughs> Pretty good. Got a reorganization, huh? Well, the army reorganization phase one. The realm believes the entire military, imperial military should be comprised of stormtroopers, while it's not exactly a realistic approach. The realm integrate many measures to ensure that the basic infantry of the Empire receives major overhauls to treat them as viable personnel, not just as expendable grunts in service of an effective government. And phase two. While Thrawn's retraining of the military core, he'll begin with a total doctrinal change of the military as a whole. Thrawn believes much in a mobile fighting force, less so quantity of troops. Thrawn will make sure his new military program are installed and ensure the military furthers his doctrine in pursuing a mobile fighting force of quality. Three. Thrawn's uh, final phase of the army reorganization will be rid of the military command of any officers who fail to adhere to the new army plan. Officers whom in the past used soldiers like meat shields will be retired immediately, and those who show strong strategic and tactical prowess will be promoted to proper ranks. Thrawn wants men and women of experience to lead, not yes men. Slowly getting there. Looks like we will need to open up a front against these guys, though. Let's see. Cruisers good. Better cruisers are good too. We have so much manpower, it's not funny. Nope. Nice. There goes Burma. The Burmese. Two. Sure. Navy reorganization phase one. There are the most issues with the doctrine of the Imperial Navy. Their use of large battleships such as the Imperial One, Class, Star Destroyers, or Show of Force, rather than its proper position in the Navy, angered them deeply. The rebels were able to too. Uh, crippled valuable large uh, ships of the Empire due to the competence of the Navy Doctrine. Thrawn will completely reorganize the Navy from the ground up. Phase 2. With Thrawn's leadership, the Navy has begun to undergo much retraining as members of the 7th Fleet did accompany Thrawn and were present on the crash site. Their training program is started to properly train naval officers to support the various new roles assigned to their ships. Thrawn no longer need or have large ships unsupported without a proper fleet to accompany battleships. And phase 3. Thrawn's uh, Naval Doctrine. As so we'll begin to flush throughout the various ranks and ships of the Imperial military, the Navy has never been, once been as the strongest nor as most competent, not before since the Clone Wars with this ship. You'll learn we'll oversee the Imperial Navy alongside Thrawn's, both are acting as Grand Admirals. So, uh, we're going to go to war with these guys and see what we can do. Have a good old time, but in the meantime, I think we'll just end the episode there and continue working on killing everyone else around us. So, it's a lot of fun. I didn't think, I guess we had Thrawn eventually, but cool guy. And he's going to be the thumbnail of the next episode. So, if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a fat like. Subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and see you tomorrow when we will go to war with the Soviet Union, the common turn, maybe the Axis, and then maybe we'll see what happens after that. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!